Hi there folks, um, Simon here, Arias Pipe Smoker. Well, it's Friday, um, so I guess that makes it Falcon Friday. Uh, I've never smoked a Falcon before, but I'm going to give this one a go today. Um, first, first thoughts on it is the quality is pretty shocking. Um, there's there's, there's moulding lines on the stem and on the casing. The bowl is full of fills. Um, but I guess they're cheap. Um, so I've put a homemade dry ring in. I think that's how you're meant to do it. This one looks like it takes um, a 6mm filter. But no, you're not going to be able to see down there. But I've got a Savinelli 6mm here and I, I could push it too far back. Um, so I'm not sure if it's the right filter, but we'll give it a go. So. And we're going to um, put some Macbaron um, mixture in it because I like this tobacco and I'm familiar with how it smokes so it's always a good test for the new pipe to um, see how it goes. So I'm going to do the uh, classic, well I say the classic three stage fill, sometimes it doesn't quite work out and just lots of tobacco gets stuffed in. Um, For those of you that haven't um, smoked this before, which I'm sure most of you have, but apparently there's, there's something staggering, like 30 something different kinds of tobacco in here, and according to um, Per Jensen himself, this one mixture um, equates to 50% of um, the total output of uh, Macbaron, 50%, which is, which is staggering. Um, but it is a good tobacco. Um, it's got a kind of slight, um, has got some kind of topping on there. Very uh, mild. It's, it's difficult to, to, to put your finger on. It's almost floral, but with, I don't know, kind of like a, what I always call an old fashioned smell. It's kind of almost like the smell that you would expect when you went into an old tobacco, tobacconist's when you were um, a kid or something. For me, it's quite a nostalgic smell, um, but it's not overpowering in the in the translation. So let's give it a go. The drawer is absolutely fine. I didn't bring a tamper out with me, so um, it's a fingers job today. One thing I'm short on is tampers. Actually, I've got some I've got some small check tools, but some I, I, I find them a bit small. I'm sort of whittling down the um, handle of an Opinel at the moment. So I can use the, the, the base of the Opinel knife as a bit of a bit of a tamper. I must say, initial impressions, this isn't tasting um, as good as I'm used to it tasting. It could possibly um, have something to do with uh, the briars I smoke it in are, are reasonably, you know, mostly their estates and quite broken in. 
Whereas this is a, this is a metal pipe with a, a token bit of wood screwed in. Never really been a fan of the whole falcon thing. I know they have their devotees, but uh, it's just like the whole aesthetics of them just, just really don't do much for me. Some of the curved, bent ones look, don't look too bad. I think the only um, metal shanked pipe I actually like the look of, I think they're made by um, BBB, I think it's the BBB Ranger. And they've got kind of quite a substantial looking um, bent, kind of quite a thick, um, I think it could be like a square rectangular shank if, if, if uh, my memory serves me correctly. But they, they look quite nice actually, they look um, quality, whereas Falcons always look a bit... Um, bit cheap to me. This bowl's already heating up at the top. And to be fair, it is a little bit ghosted, this one. And I've done everything I can. I've, I've done the um, salt alcohol treatment. I've done a really good alcohol clean of, of the whole um, airway and shank. I've even gone so far as that, which normally works for me with um, briars, um, if, if all else fails. So sometimes I find the vulcanite, vulcanite, vulcanite stems ghost also. And it doesn't matter how, how well I clean them with, um, you know, bristly pipe cleaners and alcohol. I've had quite a lot of success of um, <clears throat> when I've done that, just immersing it all in um, just a dry um, pot of bicarbonate of soda, and, which is kind of renowned for um, absorbing odours. And it does seem to um, definitely um, get the ghosting out of an old vulcanite stem. Well, I'm about a third of the way down now. Bowl isn't um, actually as hot as it was when it started. It must have just been um, some lighting it quite a big flame because it's a bit windy. I've just had a thought. Okay, now it is actually a metal stem in there. And obviously you can't feel any temperature on <clears throat> here at all, other than this plastic um, robe on it. <clears throat> I just found myself a tamper. has nice springs on its way. <laughs> I don't know if you're about to hear the bird song. It's waking me up now at about, uh, ooh, I guess it must be around about six, half six in the morning. There's a nice dawn chorus. I kind of have this, um, maybe it's an absurd plan to um, actually get up before the dawn chorus and sit out and have a pipe and um, watch, watch the, uh, Watch the skies lighten, listen to the, listen to the forest. Well, I guess the forest wakes up, but then there's lots of things that are going to bed when the sun comes up. Um, on my walk down here, there's, there's loads of um, deer droppings, so the deer tend to be more active at night. There's no rabbits here. You don't get rabbits in this part of France. 
There's lots of shrews and mice and uh, I've never seen any rats here in the forest. I'm sure there must be some. And according to a friend of mine, who I have no reason to doubt his word, he was walking through these forests and saw, um, I think they're called um, a civet or a civet, I, th I think it's a civet and they're kind of quite strange looking things. They, they look like something you, you'd see more on the plains of Africa, kind of like, um, how would I describe it, kind of. I mean, I've only, I've only seen pictures on the internet. Um, they're quite sort of skinny, a bit like um, a bit like um, a, a shrew or a pine martin, a skinny thing with quite long legs and a really long tail with um, black and white stripes, and a kind of um, kind of quite a strange face. Not not um, quite difficult to describe. Um, not really a dog. Not really a cat maybe something akin to a ferret and I think they're a reasonable size and uh, my friend was saying yeah he was out walking the dog and one ran in front of him and he was like what on earth is that and so we went back and looked on the internet and I'm pretty sure it's a civet 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 I, I, I can't remember offhand and uh, yeah there is there is actually uh, they are actually I, I think African or Asian but there is actually a European um, um, population. And I say at this stage, I'm probably getting on towards the last third, maybe half, it's hard to tell. Um, yeah, it tastes okay actually. Um, I, I think initially it's because there, there, there was a bit of ghosting in here. Um, and I think I've uh, overcome that now. It seems to be smoking cool enough. There's no gurgling. Smoking dry enough as well. It's clenchable. I wouldn't say it's exactly lightweight. The problem is with the, these plastic stems. I mean, this this one's got loads of tooth marks on it. And it's just, just uh, not a very good material. So I guess it's time. Oh, I've lost my new temper. What's a man meant to do? Oh, the forest provides yet again another new temper. So yeah, I guess to conclude, this is at the bottom now. Would I smoke a falcon again? Probably not. Um, that's because I have some other options, but uh, I think better options. Um, is it worth buying a falcon? Maybe if you um, want to take up pipe smoking and you're unsure what to buy, they're probably probably worth considering. I mean, they're dirt cheap. Um, they do smoke reasonably well. Um, the homemade dry ring seems to have done its thing. A friend actually sent me this one. Um, oh no, actually he sent me another one. Um, which I, I, I sold on on Etsy. 
and he said without without putting this 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 pipe cleaner dry ring in that they they just gurgle in no time whatsoever ever and i guess it's because you you, you, you know you've got word meets metal it's going to condensate um, but actually i haven't had any gurgling with this in the slightest filter's absolutely soaking wet it's a balsa filter, so I can just put that in the forest. Yeah, so I guess I guess that's it in conclusion. Yeah, you know, if you're already a pipe smoker, there's no point. If you think thinking of taking up pipe smoking, you can buy one Falcon for I think they're about 25, 30 euros, pounds, dollars, something in that region. And of course, you can put nice custom Meerschaum bowls on it or different shaped bowls. So as, as an entry level, um, entry level pipe, if you're curious about the pastime, then yeah, why not? You know, there's worse options, I guess. And it's not the end of the world if you lose it or don't get on with pipe smoking. You know, I, I think I think they're, they're reasonable enough. Um, you know, you, you'll, you'll get the experience. Um, so folks, um, I guess that's it for me for today. So, for those of you who are Falcon fan, fans, I hope I haven't offended any of you. <laughs> uh, well, I don't think I've said anything offensive about them, I think it's just my honest opinion. Um, so yeah, I'm going to mosey on back up to the house and... Um, see what else transpires in the day so if i don't see you before have a great um, weekend folks i believe it's passover this weekend so for those of you that um that affects have i don't know what you're meant to say happy passover <laughs> i guess it's happy passover um i believe i'm correct in that anyway so folks take care until next time um happy smoking thanks to all my new subscribers and old subscribers and all that stuff um, and look forward to seeing you next time.